Hey, hey, hey guys. Hey guys. I'm so glad to have you back on my channel. Um, so, you know the video that I posted the other day um, about how I just felt like God has really been calling me to repentance and calling his his bride, his church as a whole to repentance. Um, I believe the video was called The Turning Point. Um, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, then before you watch this video, why don't you go ahead and go back and watch that video um, just so you know what we're talking about here. Um, so anyways, as far as that video goes, um, the, the one about how I feel like God is calling us to repentance, um, the Lord gave me a word that he wanted me to add to that, um, kind of like a part two to that message. So before we jump in, before I give you this word, I just want to pray for us. Oh, Father God, holy and anointed one, the one who reigns above all others, the one who reigns on this earth, the one who reigns in heaven and also in hell below. Lord, you are worthy of all of our praise. Father, I thank you for speaking to us through people, through prophets and through pastors and teachers. I thank you that there are still prophets and apostles today, Lord. I thank you that you are restoring the Acts church. Father, I thank you that you are a God who still moves in power, a God who still heals, a God who still delivers. Also, Holy Spirit, I just ask you to come upon me now and just anoint my vessel, Lord. Only let words that you want come from my mouth, Lord. Remove me from this situation. I pray that all ears are open to hear what the Spirit is trying to speak. In Jesus' name. Amen. And may we not just hear this message, Lord. May we not just have open ears that are willing to hear, but may we also have a heart that is willing to obey, Lord. I pray that we will obey you and that we will walk worthy of the calling you have placed on our lives. For you alone are worthy. And we just want to please you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so... So like I said, this is like a part two to um, the message called The Turning Point that I did the other day. So God says this. God says, I am requiring one more part. Surrender. Surrender. Total surrender to my divine will. Let go of your own ways. Abandon them. The Lord says, abandon them. Surrender to my spirit, to my good and perfect will. I absolutely love you, my children, and I will be back soon. Watch and see. Be ready. So what to put the two messages together, what the Lord is saying here is he wants us to repent, to live a life of repentance. Um, like we talked about in that other video, repentance should not just be something that we do one time when we become Christians, when we are saved, we should live a life of repentance. We should be repenting every single day because as the Bible also says, anyone who says that they are without sin, that they're a liar, that we all sin, we all fall short of the glory of God. No one is perfect but Jesus. So we are called to repent. And God says, but not only repent, after you repent, then I want you to surrender. Surrender, surrender everything. Surrender everything that you think you know. Surrender everything that you think I am. I meaning the Lord. Surrender everything that you think the Lord is. All that you think you know. Surrender all your plans and dreams. Surrender your family. Surrender your will. And follow him. I love you guys. Be blessed and keep seeking the Lord. Because he is a rewarder of those who seek him. And when you seek him with your whole heart, he promises that you will find him. If you need healing in your body right now, if you need deliverance, if you need a miracle, if you need a breakthrough, go to the Lord in prayer now and believe, believe, believe. We love you, Lord. We love you. And we praise your name, Jesus. God bless you guys.